Good morning, good people. W Innocence with your boy E Dub here. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now, last night's games. Wow. We had the Boston Celtics. That did exactly what I I predicted they were gonna do to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Unfortunately. And on top of that. Cleveland's undermanned because they have they have injured. I mean, they needed they needed Donovan Mitchell last night. Without him, I didn't I didn't see them having that much of a chance. But you got to give Cleveland a lot of credit because they came and they represented. They played their hearts out. They left everything out there on that court. Right now, the series is heading back to Boston. Cleveland has a three to uh, sorry Boston has a three one stranglehold on that series. I think that the next game, I believe it's over. Unfortunately. But, like I said, I predicted Boston to do exactly just that. OKC Thunder. I mean... These guys are really starting to make me question and second guess my, 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 my prediction. I watched that game and I watched Dallas jump all over KC. I mean, there was one point in time, if I'm not mistaken, the score was 32-8. to eight. I said, you know what, now, nah, man. Dallas is Dallas is doing what they need to do. Dallas is playing big brother to the little brothers. And then the second half came around, and OKC kept chipping away at the lead, chipping away at the lead. When it got down to about seven, when when, when uh, Dallas was up by seven points, I I personally started to get nervous because no matter what Dallas did. OKC was right there with them. And again, I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm very big on experience. So for me, at that particular point in time, I'm expecting to see OKC's inexperience start to kick in. I'm expecting them to start, I'm expecting them to, to see them start to, you know, try to go for it. Make a lot of mistakes. Yo, OKC stayed very composed. And you know what? The most complete team, complete team in this entire playoff is OKC. They stick together as a team. They're a tight net unit. And honestly speaking, if they continue to play carefree basketball the way they've been playing and they just believe in themselves, the sky's the limit for these guys. I expected OKC to come into the playoffs this year and make some noise to let people know that they're on their way. I wasn't expecting OKC to come and plant a flag. You, We all have to start taking OKC seriously. They're a team that, even though the rest of us don't really give them that much of a shot of actually winning a championship, you can't tell any one of those guys on that squad that they don't have a chance. They're making believers out of me, slowly. My predictions that I made, uh, I mean, you know, I'm start, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to question Minnesota, unfortunately, because I'm starting to see inexperience kick in. And I'm starting to see Denver's championship ways kick in. I am, um, I'm an individual, I'm going to go down with my ship. I picked the Minnesota Timberwolves to not only beat Denver, but to win the championship. And I'm going to go down with that particular ship. If they end up getting bounced out of the playoffs by Denver, I'm going to come right back up on here and I'm going to take that yoke on my face. Yes, indeed. But at that time, once we know who the, te the, 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 the teams are that are left, then I'm going to make my prediction from those teams that are left. That being said, Minnesota's not done yet. And I really believe if Anthony Edwards can get some of his teammates to show up to tonight's game, there's a possibility that Minnesota can make a little bit of a difference. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. 
tell me who you guys think is going to be moving on to the net to well round three of the playoffs and if you guys feel confident enough in your predictions let me know who you think the two teams are going to be that are standing to play for the nba championship i'm going to take this opportunity to welcome all of my new subscribers that have subscribed to me in the last couple of days i welcome and appreciate every single one of you guys i hope you enjoy the content don't be shy Participate in that comment section. Let me know how you guys really feel. Moving forward, any other new subscribers that do subscribe to the channel, do me a favor, man, if you can. Leave your name in the comment section and leave a flag of where you're from because you know what? I love meeting people from all over the world. Double the sense with your boy E-Dub is out. Have yourself a blessed day, peeps.